Okay, everybody, I finished Heart of Stone, I got old Gear's sword, and I killed Gunner on Dim. Now I gotta start getting ready for the end of the base game. There's a big trick to this, and she's not, you're gonna get your butt kicked everywhere. So I'm going back at the Gratoria. I could, didn't have enough armor, enough weapons, I couldn't make a den in So now I'm about level 40, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna kill that sucker. Now you can choose to let this knight die and be the bad witcher. Or you can try to save us. So when this stuff gets almost to the so end, I just jump in and start wailing on the thing. So I did kill him. Well, but that's only a part of my whole Lord plan here. I'm just literally piece. starting to sign. But I'm going to show you guys and girls what exactly I like to do. Oh, the fish, you see my name is in the Witcher Hall of Fame. The monster's going to miss me when I'm gone. They're going to name the babies after me. I'm on to kill this guy. My strategy is to draw him out of the cave. But unfortunately, the knight likes to stay in there and get whacked. So the key is to kill a Gratory before the knight dies. Now to get him all activated, just hit the flowers, no big deal. This is my strategy in front of him. I don't like to fight in a room full of centipedes. Like I always say, get out of the circle of a bunch of enemies and fall back. Unless I'm falling back, I'm bringing them with me. I'm, hopeful, I'm hoping that my level 40 armor's kicked up a little bit, and then I should be able to take him on. And I proved right. But I got a little hair here in a second. Now here he is, he's fighting the knight, whacking the heck out of him. Now I'm putting a few hurts on him. Put some hurts, just a little bit. I'm not using crushing blows, I'm using slashing. I did not have relic oil, that's the oil you're supposed to use on him. I had it, but I never bothered making it. I just keep wanting to lure him away from the knight towards me. I'm putting the damage on him. But look at Francois. He's got no health bar at all. It took, me, it took me a minute, then I realized, what the heck? How's this knight still alive? So here in a second, I'm going to go in for the kill. Go in, hit hard, hit some Quinn and slash them down. I'm disregarding everything. I had some swallow, ate some food, did it in, and I got him down. So now I can get the Aaron Dice Sword, because everything's proved and there can be only one. Now I'm gonna tell him to keep the damn head, go back to, to, go back to Beauclair, and marry the woman. So that's done, but the main reason I'm doing all this, this will finish up right early in the Heart of Stone and Blood and Wine the DLC. In the Blood and Wine DLC, you want to do this as soon as possible. Or you have to wait until the entire end of the you game. Me Heart of Stone I used to level up. I say as I played the good Witcher in the morality, I saved him in time. I don't know why I didn't die. I think I just gotta leave me in there for the Gratoria to kill him. So she's all happy and good. There can be only one is finished. At my convenience, I can go get the Erendite Sword. I'm gonna need that to finish the base game, but I wanna level up a little bit first. Getting the diagrams for it. But the problem with getting the armor is the cost of building it. So you gotta go hit Skellige up, hit anywhere you can find and scrape up some crowns. Probably about 10, 15,000 crowns to get it all built. 